How's that for being messed up? Yeah, we're going to do it this way just because, well, uh, strange days indeed. Anyways, so I just got back from the doctor, actually, and uh, there wasn't going to be any real music in here anyway. So we'll just go with this. And and like I said, these things are all pretty much live anyway. So um, I was going to mention that in the beginning um, because this is probably not going to be a very good video for, you know, music or anything. But um like I said, I just got back from the doctor, so this will be a cancer-related uh, video um, instead. And apologies for those of you who are coming looking for music today, or guitar building, or modifying, or whatever, or guitar reviews and stuff. Um, those are coming. I'll be back to that, but I have to interject this in here today because <clears throat> I went to the doctor to get the results of my scan, and they were not good. Uh, they were not good to the point of I'm... They, well, the, their plan is to get me into surgery. And I said, okay, you can get me one on your plan because it, so I say it's it's bad because the tumor is growing again. Um, but it's also good for the fact that we're going to do things now that I have been asking all along, why couldn't we try that? Uh, for them, for surgery, they want to put me back on chemo to see if they can reduce it a little bit before surgery. What my question has always been is why if with the chemo and radiation before, if that worked the first time, how can we can't try it again? Because when they were done the first time, they were like, where is it? We don't even see it. What's going on? Um, so they did an amazing job the first time. I will say it again. It was a miracle. And I think they can do it again. I know they can do it again. So I was super happy that uh, my doctor suggested that um, it's going to be a little bit strange and a little bit different because um, this time they're going to give me uh, not only do you go in and get it there but when they're done with the, the infusion for the day they're also going to just leave the because uh, uh, I have the uh, the uh, the port here so they're going to leave the um, I guess needle or whatever it is in there and then just hook me up to a, another machine that they're going to send me home for a day with and then I'll come back the day after that and get it unhooked again but that's the way we're going to do chemo this time um so it's this is something that uh, I had been advocating for in the first place not the way I wanted it to come about but um it is something that I had been advocating for in the first place the other thing that came about from this meeting was um, I had to ask her about something that a counselor had said to me. And she said something about, I think it's neurology, and I think that was the word. Um, but the, the main thing was brain shift. And it's like, oh my God, where have you people been? And um, her thing was, well, we were hoping it would get better, basically. Uh, that's, that, is, that is completely boiled down. Her explanation was a lot longer, but... Um, it, it basically that was what it was was we were just hoping this would get better because normally it does they were being odds make bookmakers again in my mind and they were just going with the odds and now they've finally seen that oh my god something did get broken here so um they're going to set up something with the neurology people to see if we can figure out what the heck went wrong um so that i can help myself so there are a lot of things that are different this time. There are other things that are different this time with the fact that I did not know that there were things that I could have or should have been doing with the chemotherapy to be helping myself because in the mainstream world of healthcare, these are things that are not proven. They are not researched. They, the odds are not with them. So they won't even mention them. I have a huge, huge toolbox now behind me for that. Um, the mental part, I wasn't even present the first time. I wasn't there. I didn't have anything to do with my health care at that point in time. I was, you fix me. And that is part of what I've been railing against about the health care system is that it's a fix it system. And that is part of the problem because we were all, myself included, saying we can just fix this, not putting the mind body thing all together. I'm doing that now. Um, my mind is stronger. My body is stronger. I've gained almost 10 pounds since the last time since I saw the doctor. That's a good thing. I'm doing this with fish and plants. So my body is catching up to, oh, hey, maybe we can get stronger um, without the crap, without, the, without eating uh, a box of cookies a day, you know, without uh, uh, going across the street and getting the, the crap for lunch because it was just easier. Um, with coming home and nuking something because I was tired as hell and the world got me down and it, it, I'll, 
I'll nuke a pre-processed piece of crap to put in my body before I lay on the couch and do nothing and go to sleep and just kill myself that way. So I'm, I've changed completely that way. Um, there are things that are different, completely different this time. So I am very, very hopeful. While I am super scared because it is growing and this is something that I would like to take care of, I am also super hopeful because I know way more now and I have more tools in my toolbox and I have, I think, more of the proper people and the, more of the proper way of thinking of those people. I wasn't thinking of them as helping me before. I was fighting them. I'm going to let them help me more. I'm going to take their advice but I'm not necessarily going to go as with it as it's the Bible. I will take it into consideration with the rest of the things that are being presented to me and manage my own health. That's what I'm. That's different this time. Um, so, yeah, I had to get this out there because this is something that is going to be weighing on my brain. But um, I'm hoping to not let it get to me. I'm also asking you guys for help. Not help subscribing or anything. Help with energy, man. Because the energy is what can do this. Positive vibes. If y'all can get me some, that would be amazing. The likes and the subscriptions, man, that would be amazing if we could grow this. Um, I might have to start asking for charity in the future. The only thing that I'm asking for right now is if you could raise your own vibrations, make yourself feel better, do something for yourself, man, make the world a better place. If we can all do that, we can all get to, we can, we can cure each other, man. We can do this. And that's all I'm asking right now, man, is can we please, please get some good vibrations out there. No more of this bullshit uh, of we're going to yell at each other. No, let's start doing things for each other and helping each other and helping the world out, man. Can we please start doing that? I'm super emotional. I'm going to end this before I really do cry. That's why the the glasses we're here and, and, and I have a security blanket these days too. Thank you, God, for all of it. Thank you, God, for getting me here. Thank you all for listening. If you got this far, thank you for watching. And things are going to get better. And he's there for you. Always look up, man. Always look up.